Greetings, greetings, and a blessed, blessed good morning. This is yours truly, Black Steel. And you know, we all want to talk about the great Daddy Uroy. How I met him in a place what they call LA in um, Los Angeles when I was on tour with Ariwa with the Mac Professor Maccabee. It all started when I saw this stranger. He was like, you know, leaning on the railings. And I looked at this man and I went, hmm, that looks like that's you, Roy. Yeah, and then um, then I just woke up to him and greet him with his lyrics. My name is not Al Capone. Well, I can kick up them tones, you know. And I'm going to crack a them bone. Tell it to me as I will tell you. <laughs> you, I love that. <laughs> yes. He loved that. He definitely loved that. That surprised him. And then I said, you right, what's, what's going down? I'm not here no... No singles, no albums, or anything, man. What's going down? He said, Why? Well, nobody don't want to produce me and, you know, want to record any, you know, any tunes or anything like that. I said, Hmm. I said, Okay. So I said to him, Well, let me introduce you to a producer, you know, that, you know, I work with him, and I'm part of, part of the crew of Ariwa Posse Crew. And so I took him to my professor. And I said, Uroy, meet my professor, my professor, Uroy. And they greet each other, and then I left them alone to reason. While I go about my business, reason with other people, because it wasn't time for me to go on stage yet. Because it was, it was Yellow Man, I Trees, and many more other Jamaican artists that I can name right now. Then when they um, still reasoning, and then sooner or later, Professor came to me and said to me, "Still, we're going to record Daddy You Run." And I said, "Yes, yes, yes, yes." It's a blessing <laughs> because you Roy, you already know. Say he, you know that my professor would take him on. Yeah. Oh yes. So next few days we flew back to the UK with the group with Maccabee and the robotics, you know. And then um I went to the studio and then um Professor selected some nice tunes. Yeah, and it was um English Girl by Sister Audrey. And um there's more other tracks that we've done, like Blackbird singing in the dead of the night, and and it goes on and it goes on and it goes on. So when we um, select the tracks, what we need, myself and Professor flew back to LA, and we went to a studio. I still just call it the Beastie Boys Studio. <laughs> You know, and we went in there waiting on Uroy, and he finally turned up with a briefcase. I don't know what was in there, you know. And when he heard some of the songs now, Uroy just went into his briefcase, picked up any lyrics, and he started to DJ on them. You know, and wow, and then. The first of it was the first song was English Girl by Sister OG. And then he then he added True Born African. And I said, and I said, wait. <laughs> I said, the great man is so fantastic, man. Mm -mm. Oh yes. And while Professor was on the mixing board, mixing at the Beastie Boy Studios. 
and then so so we've done as much as we can then the next day we was waiting on Leroy he didn't turn up and still didn't turn up then we wait then 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 the next day he still didn't turn up I was wondering what happened and then in the end he turned up and he didn't look right but we still continue recording and there was a tune that um, was called push me in the corner and then he had um, a lyrics you know try to rub the natty rub the natty for a quarter and i guess to tell you the truth he was rubbed so i give thanks that that lyrics means so much and it's very very strong lyrics so we continue to when the, the session you know is done but i think the next day that professor makes few of them bring it back to the uk and finish off the mixes you know well i think i was still doing sessions with other people and then um the first single came out that produced by my professor was true born african as a twerping single it was a good seller then came the album right when professor released the album i could not believe what i what i uh, what, what i hear on the on the radio i think it was tony williams you know and my god the album went straight to number one yes straight to number one right on euroy's earth strong as in english birthday Euro was really shot. So my professor no sir, we put him back on the map. Yes, he's on the map now, and I tell you, it's non-stop selling. It's just to show how long they haven't heard from the great Daddy Euroy. Oh yes, because when you say, if you don't know her right name, just say Daddy Rai. So okay, so it's Daddy you right. Okay, respect, <laughs> you know. And we was on our way to get prepared to do a tour with Daddy Uroy. And when we called the taxi, the taxi man came around and then but I opened up the boot. I said, "Wow!" I said, "Victor, you guys look at this." Yeah, man, Daddy, you right, wicked, wicked. <laughs> there was a, there was an album sleep in the taxi man's car boot. <laughs> so, so, so you can see that everyone in the UK went and bought that album. It's just to show how long they haven't heard from the great Daddy Uroy. Oh yes, and then we start touring all over Europe sold out venues yes all sold out just to see the great legendary daddy Uroy. my professor was so pleased about that me too i was more pleased than ever trust me and then all this time in 1991 we're still touring 92 still touring some that I miss because I have to work with Twinkle Brothers at, at the time, you know. But the album was still selling. And then he did a few more albums with my professor of Ariwa Sounds. And they all were sellers. Oh, yes. So it's just a, a kind of a short story. You know, and because I, he couldn't believe how I know his lyrics. Way down south, where little children used to play, you're going to hear the good news, what I would say. What? <laughs> you were really surprised. 
Yeah, she believed in me. I was well surprised. So we all had good times, fun times, on stage times. It was absolutely a bless. <laughs> and I worked with him recently, you know, with the with the new robotics, but me as me as the first oldest old member of robotics. <laughs> I'll tell you something. James on bass, Carl on drums, Ben Shanti on keyboards. At first, and first it was me just playing on. Um, I think it, I was playing guitar, but at, at the time it, I didn't play no instrument. At the time when I was um, backing him on um, at the jazz cafe, and that was a real good setup. That was, you know, and it was really fun. Absolutely fun. So it's been what thirty years. Knowing Daddy Uroy, thirty years. So I did really want to say is, just want to give thanks to my professor for producing Daddy Uroy. Then come Professor Sun, Joe Ariwa. <laughs> and sometimes he engineers for Daddy Uroy, or sometimes his father. Yeah, man, so I have to big up Joe Ariwa always and big up car melody of the fraser family believe in me it's true yeah and it's just you know it's really the vibe is just fantastic And you really love me for the gift of lyrics that I DJ to him or toast to him. Trust me. Yeah. It was. All his fans all around Europe, all around Africa, especially where he born and grew, Jamaica. You know? Then to America. New York. And now when them hear that he has a number one album out there now, all of a sudden now, this producer out there wants to record, you no, know, to record that Daddy that Uroy. Then what came out on um, Tapa label was Putting Up a Resistance, sung by Barris Hammond and DJ by Daddy Uroy. So like I said, I re put putting back on the map, then everyone start come keeping in touch with Uroy to come and do some work for them. Oh yes. And I just wanna say that I got a text from my cousin, by the name of Stein Burgess, my blessed cousin. He texts me, that was um, around 4 a.m. in the morning, saying that Uroy has passed away. And I went, what? I said, hmm. So I gave him a call and then he told me to um, go on, on 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 the post. And then when I checked it out and I looked, I went that he passed away Wednesday, the seventeenth of February, before midnight. Because in the UK it was Thursday morning, you know. And then I was, was very speechless, very, very speechless. And I guess my professor knew about it. I rang his son, 
around Aisha, and my sister Aisha, and I, you know, and I told her, and many more other. Well, it was a very shocking thing that he has passed. Well, I just want to give thanks for all the works I have done for him and my professor, the producer who produced him. I'm so glad he found his gold. Now, he's known as King Daddy Uroy O.D. Yes, because he was crown king. And I was in tears, but he was more tears of joy. But the person, I was really done with tears. I have to go on my knees, you know, say, boy, shouldn't, shouldn't have gone here. I thought the music would have keep him very strongly going with his health and life, because, he, you know, yes, he's, he's diabetic. It's no doubt about that. You know, he won't hide from that. You know, he was all right, still strong and still performing strongly. And because now of this coronavirus now coming now, no artists can perform. No bands and DJs cannot perform live. And that's really, 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 really sad. So sad. You know, but I give thanks. His life, his music, his voice will live on forever and ever and ever. Plus, I want to big up one man that I'm so closely in touch by the name of Claude Sinclair. A.K. Big Stone. I want to thank you so much for really bigging me up and interviewing me over the, you know, about a year ago. <laughs> so, you know, I want to thank you so much, man, for that. Talking about various artists who I have worked with. Yes. And as you know, Big Stone, you know, I was born in the UK. So what came from Jamaica come to England. And again, you, Roy, and Bonnie Lee were like brothers because Bonnie Lee produced the majority of U.S. classics, albums, version to version. Oh, yeah, and I'm glad I got those albums. But my favorite one, <laughs> no doubt, I'm very sorry to say, but King Tubby Special was my favorite my true favorite and that is the lyrics that i, I dj to daddy you roy od yes you roy od otherwise king daddy you roy od you will not be forgotten never Certain DJs could always be in your shoes to do a style. And the one who's, who's still continue doing that style continually is you, Brown. You are accept him as a boom DJ because he, he learned from the great Daddy you Roy OD. Oh, yes. I hear it in him. Oh, yes. So big up every time, you Brown, big up. Mm -hmm. And also for our photographer, who, um, who's from France, I have to big him up continually, Daiko. And I keep bigging you up all the time, Blood, because you are such a good photographer taking pictures of Daddy Uroy on stage, off stage. The band members, and especially me. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. Oh, yeah. And some of the best tunes that Uroy sang on the album Smile. And that one was sung by the great Sandra Cross, the queen of lovers rap. Because Sandra, you made Uroy smile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So again, big up all of the musicians who backed Daddy Uroy, OD. And you all know that it was really a blessed to back him on stage. Yes. And again, his music will live on. So I just want to say, no, we know we are give thanks to Jah. Choose the all a one. Choose the all a son. Righteousness. Love mercy and peace ja the mighty god every time continually rest in eternal peace king daddy uroy od yes and to all who knew daddy uroy and who was close to him especially big youth and Dennis Al Capone. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry about this, you know. You're right. It's but you know, it's hard for me right now to say more about him. In 1991 to 2021, it's 30 years. Professor and myself was, you know, very close to you, And also, again, Joe Ariwa. Yes. Carl drumming, because you, I love his drumming, because he sounds just like Carlton Barrett, <laughs> and, he, and he really respect Carl for that, you know? Yeah, otherwise known as Color Lou. <laughs> yeah, and I, and I have to give thanks to you, know, because um, when it comes to the live show at the time at the Jazz Cap, I guess you didn't know that when you I said, a strictly rubber dubber with the pop. Hey, strictly rubber dubber with the pop. <laughs> was you and the band members were really shocked. <laughs> and giving blessings to Richie. What a tone of voice him have there. High, but he's great. At the jazz cast. And then who I bring on stage? Beverly Notes. And I want to give thanks to Michael Ark for taking some nice camera shots. And big up Vavini, the plumber, every time. Come and know you love the great daddy you right. Bless up every time, princess, every time. So each individual, people who are close to this man, have your say. Because his music, his voice will live on. Jai live everybody and our blessings to the most high. And Allah bless each individual every time. From yours truly, Errol Nicholson, aka Black Steel. <laughs>